Hey, yo. <clears throat> yo, rest in peace to uh, Nipsey Hussle. Um, I just seen that uh, Nipsey Hussle was uh, shot, and I guess he was shot in the head. I guess you know he got he got shot dead uh, apparently in front of uh, something to do with his shop in L.A. or something like that. I'm not I'm not totally sure about exactly what what happened or whatnot, but I was literally just looking up Nipsey Hussle tracks like the other day, and I didn't. It's weird because. I've always known about Nipsey Hussle since I was young, you know, <clears throat> he was like, he was just a G, you know what I mean, like, he was just fucking real everywhere, you know what I mean, like, he could go anywhere and be respected, you know what I mean, and that's the thing about Nipsey Hussle, right, um, that's what makes me think, like, in the end of the day, you know, we, we're seeing all these rappers dying and, and getting killed, you know what I mean, but there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes, plus, what did Nipsey Hussle represent? You know what I mean? He was he was a real dude all the way through, you know what I mean? And he made it, like, on his, you know, self-made shit. You know what I mean? Like, on some crazy shit, you know what I mean? That's why he was so respected. He was not an industry rapper, really. He was in the industry. He's in the industry, right? But he was, like, I don't know. He was, like, independent, and, you know, type thing. But, yeah, I just think that's crazy because, yo, he's a conscious dude, too, you know what I mean? And he's successful in many different ways, different businesses, you know, he's an entrepreneur, he he was involved in Bitcoin, he profited before anything even happened with that, like, I seen he was already, he already made a huge, you know, uh, profit off that wave, you know, I'm sure he, he you know, pulled out when it was time, you know what I mean? Because he was that smart, he was always on point, always had different multiple incomes coming from different things, you know what I mean, but <clears throat> he did that all on his own, he didn't have to rely on the industry as much as other other rappers do, you know what I mean, and he, he exposed a lot of shit against the system, and against corruption, and, you know, the government, and also, you know what I mean, uh, you know, um, you name it, like, you know what I mean, cannabis oil, curing cancer, like, all that shit, he was aware, he, he was talking about that shit, you know, but I just, I rolled this up, uh, for, for Nipsey, for Nipsey Hustle, yo, for real, cause I know he smokes, so I put some of each in here, I put this, put this weed, it's like two zips in there, straight from BC, Citrus Skunk, G64, and then this, which is, uh, forget which one that is. But yeah, so, I'm gonna light this up. But yeah, that's crazy, yo. You gotta think, man. And I know what a lot of people are thinking, like, oh, you know, you know, Illuminati blood sacrifice type thing, you know what I mean? And in this situation, it's not that unrealistic. Like, if you're, if you're conscious of shit like that and you know about that type of shit, you know, you got to look at the type of artists that are that this is happening to. You know what I mean? And what did they represent? Could there be anything that they have said to provoke some type of attack from an, from a force like that? Because Nipsey, he was successful independently. You know what I mean? So that pisses a lot of certain parties of individuals off that can't benefit or profit from him because he got his own, you know what I mean? So at that point, if, if, if certain parties can't benefit, then, you know, sometimes, and if, if he's interfering in, in business, just being successful, doing what he's doing, you know what I mean? <clears throat> some, some, you know, forces might try to get rid of you and get you out of the way, you know, you know. And it's been going on. It's not like this is a fucking conspiracy type shit anymore. Like, fuck, come on, man. Like, since Tupac. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, there's hash in this, too. I put hash in here, though. Yeah. But, yeah, that actually fucked me up. When I seen that today about Nipsey, yo. Because I was just looking this shit up. And I was admiring, you know, his come up. And I'm thinking, fuck, man, man, this guy is real to the core, bro. 
you know what I mean? And and it's it's a rare he's a rare breed, you know what I mean? So it's like but he he, he kept that you know hush so he he didn't lose that shit, you know what I mean? Cuz he knows how savage shit is, you know what I mean? The industry and just people in general, man. <clears throat> when you start succeeding, people want to fucking kill you, bro. When you start spitting real shit, there's certain parties that that real shit that you're spitting is interfering in their fucking their fucking crooked business. Interfering with their cash flow. Redirecting traffic because you're exposing a certain fucking party or a certain force. Directly or indirectly, unknowingly or knowingly. Because there's so much shit going on out there. All you got to do is say, fucking spit the real shit and spit the truth. And that'll make you an enemy and make people won't have to fucking have to get rid of you. When you have influential power, when you have that much reach... You affect the market. You anything you say, like if you said, ah, "Fuck Nike, I'm over Nike. I don't really wanna, you know, wear their shoes." And you have so so much influential power. You know what you just did? You just decreased their sales by like forty percent, thirty percent, depending on who who it was. Like if Drake or whoever the fuck it was that said that, all of a sudden people are gonna agree with that, and that's gonna cause a chain reaction, a wave, and that's gonna cause fucking a percentage of a decrease in sales. As a, as a whole, believe it or not, yeah. You know what that causes? That causes fucking beef. You're you're taking money out of someone else's and who knows who's invested into that company. On some mob shit, on some who fucking knows. You know what I'm saying? So you don't know what you're doing, bro. Like, when you're saying certain shit, when you have that much influential power and reach, you're fucking, without even knowing it, cutting a million people's grass in one shot. So you just made a million enemies by fucking... Is speaking your own opinion that that someone else, millions of people disagree with. Whether you're right or wrong, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean. So it's like, and he, you know, Nipsey, he he represented fucking all the real shit, bro. He said it how it was, made it independent. So that's just crazy, man. So that's why it doesn't make no fucking sense. Cause he was a, he was a G, he was certified. You know what I mean. He fucking really did it. Really did it. Really lived it. You know, and and all the other people that did too, they recognized that and they they respected him. You know what I mean? And uh, he was good wherever he went, man. You know what I mean? He didn't have no fucking like. From what I seen, he wasn't out like wasn't. He was just doing his fucking thing. He made it out of the hood. He fucking earned his stripes. He did his time. He did it all. Made it off hustling, whatever, you know what I mean? Made it up out of the gutter off hustling and fucking made it big, you know? But how can you not respect that, especially with his mind state of consciousness, you know what I mean? So that's why I feel like <clears throat> there's a possibility that if you were to believe in that type of shit, like Illuminati blood sacrifices and, and shit like that and, and certain, certain forces being involved in the industry, that shit is real, bro. People are getting people fucking killed. Over, over, just like I said, when you have that much influential power, or if who knows what type of business venture you didn't take that insulted a certain party that has fucking power and respect into them. That's a major deal. So now they have to make a fucking example back. There's all types of shit going on that that we don't know about. You know what I mean? But that certain people do know about, right? So from seeing it in real life. Unless you see that shit play out, you'd be like, nah, this guy's just paranoid, nah, these guys are fucking schizophrenic, like, you know what I mean? And that's what typical basic fucking people do, and that's how they talk against people that speak about real shit. Because that real shit is so far from the reality, they can't see it. So to them, it's fucking gibberish. It's like a different language that doesn't exist. But to you, you're witnessing it firsthand, and you know that this shit is real for real. It's not an opinion, you're watching it happen, like, what? And then you got people saying that you're fucking crazy for talking, for saying what, you know, how real shit is, you know? It's all backwards, everything. It's all backwards, man. But yeah, anyways, rest in peace, Nipsey Hussle, man. It's fucked up. Fucked up for real, man, because I, I was... I felt so good about the way that Nipsey came up, and I was like, this guy made it, bro. Like, he ain't any... He's not making noise like Tupac freaking out and shit, you know what I mean, so he might make it, you know, like, look at Nas, you know, he, he just kind of 
went silent because he made it that far without getting whacked, bro. And everyone else got whacked. And he's right in with Tupac and all these motherfuckers, you know what I mean? So he was like, bro, this is not a joke. And then he, he's got, you know, I'm sure he has a kid. I don't know if he has a daughter or a son. I, I, I forget. Fuck, see, that's the thing that you don't hear about Nas. It's not in the media. He's, not in the media. he's nowhere to be found because he did that on purpose. You know what I mean? Because he spit all that real shit. And he's seen other people get whacked for that shit. So he was like, everybody's getting hit. How the fuck did I not? So he just took a step back and he went like that. And that was it. Probably for his kids or else he probably would still be out there spitting that real shit. He said enough, you know, and he got lucky. That's the way he Nas probably feels about it, you know what I mean? I know that for, for sure. So I felt like Nipsey was on the same tip and he was gonna... He was smart enough to, to stay out of it after he already made his millions, you know, and, and fucking made his point, earned his stripes, did his time, certified. Nothing nobody can fucking say. You don't gotta play in that world no more, you know what I mean? Or, I don't know what the fuck, man, but it's also LA too, right? But like I said, I don't feel like gangsters would go and just kill Nipsey Hussle because it, it, it wasn't like that, you know what I mean? And he was respected by pretty much all fucking gangsters. Like, you know, it wasn't like he was repping one side, like blood or crip or any of that shit. You know what I mean? He was respected worldwide by fucking hoods all over the world. You know what I mean? So it's like, it doesn't make no sense why no, he wasn't, he wasn't, you know, doing nothing to have no gang come and kill him like that. Plus, he would have been fucking ready for that if he was involved in whatever the fuck was going on and he wouldn't be just standing out there like that if he, you know what I mean, like might be have a vest on he might, he might fucking have people around he might be moving a little bit slick a little bit different, you know what I mean but I feel like see what I mean like he was just doing his thing keeping it real and then fucking, you know not having a worry on his mind because he's just being real, you know and then the fuck bad could happen from that but little, you know, there's shit going on he, he knew that too, but you can't live your life in fear, thinking that something's gonna fucking happen if you talk real shit. And you, you talk about how you come up and, you know, you, you, you depend on yourself and be a success like that, you know what I mean? So it's like, I don't know. <clears throat> but, yo, rest in peace, Nipsey Hussle. Yeah, man. But the smoke the rest of this. Shout out to the homie that sent me that package. I'm out here. Stay resilient.